So if you want to build yourself a website, you have already gone down the Google's rabbit hole of finding all the best platforms that can help you. And you have most likely already come across both Wix and WordPress as the top options. So which of these two works better? What could suit your needs more? Let's find out in this video. We are going to be giving you through a comparison of Wix versus WordPress. Let's begin when choosing between website builders. Ease of use is one of the first things that you could get, which is straightforward and a smooth platform that anyone can use. The entire editing process is visual and changes can be made there. And then similar to Microsoft Word and PowerPoint by only answering a few questions which can have a website tailored to your needs using artificial intelligence. If you wish to make changes, elements can be resized and moved in a click. On the contrary, you won't find a drag and drop page builder, but multiple menus and work. The recently launched Gutenberg editor has improved the experience, but you will still have to switch pages to preview your work, which can get slightly annoying. Simply put, WordPress has more complicated system as pages need to be built from scratch. This is a plus if you know your way around coding as you can customize nearly anything to suit yourself at the same time this can be time consuming for ease of use we definitely give it to Wix by a huge margin next up price which is WordPress to use different methods of pricing but they are definitely comparable which offers a free basic website builder but with ads stapled on your website and no custom domain your audience won't be impressed Starting from $4 a month, you will get everything that you need, including hosting themes and storage in seven premium plans offered by the Wix App Store. It isn't covered in the plans though. Most of the apps are free. On the other hand, WordPress requires you to have pay for each extra feature that you may need. Hosting providers like Bluehost charges around $10. The cost increases as you add plugins like WP Forms, which starts at $40 a year. When these additional charges pile on your WordPress, it can turn out to a bigger investment. Still, this allows for more flexibility as you can choose from more contract durations and spend only the features that you need. So for the price, we are going to call it Next up is the e-commerce port. If you are looking to start an online business, you would be interested to know which website builder is better for e-com. When using the Wix, all you need to do is sign up for the e-commerce plan. You will find a built-in e-commerce engine and then you are going to be able to modify the main store. This includes managing orders, stocks, statistics. There are more third-party apps available in the app store that can be used, but they do only add the cost. WordPress is a little bit different in comparison when it comes to e-com. Instead, the most commonly used options is WooCommerce, which makes the process fairly simple by putting multiple features at your display. WordPress also offers slightly better SEO through Yoast. This is incredibly important as a business never grows with that recognition. As a result, WordPress is more powerful, inflexible option. Safe to say that WordPress takes the lead when it comes to e-com support. Next thing is the data portability for your website. Data may need to be transferred at any given time, possibly when you have to switch to a different host which supports transferring, but otherwise offers limited options. Blogsports can be exported in the form of XML. In fact, that's the only piece of content that can be exported. All other content will be need to be downloaded, including videos, images, and pages. WordPress is quite opposite, as transferring data is super easy. All your content can be exported with one click. The WordPress database can fully be backed up and various plugins are available for you to allow to migration seamlessly. After that's done, you will be able to move the entire website to a new hub. If you do expect to move your content in the future, choosing WordPress is no brainer. So WordPress gets another one. Now we get to the last but not least, customer support. If you happen to get stuck on your website, building a venture, you will need support from somewhere to carry on. Wix offers 24 by 7 customer support in all their plans and some include VIP support which gives you prioritized treatment. The team can be contacted via phone or by email. Multiple guides can also be found with their website. As there are a few compatibility issues, your issues will possibly be solved in no time. As WordPress is an open source software, they don't have a dedicated team and instead will find millions of posts on the community forms. It's well known that WordPress has a large active user base. This means that you can get help from skilled developers and you can easily find solutions to the common problems. However, for personalized experience, Wix support teams will always be at your desk. For customer support, we gave it to Wix. 
That brings us to the conclusion of this video with both Wix and WordPress scoring equal. Well, it actually comes down to an individual's need. If you are an inexperienced user, Wix is an obvious choice. But if you are more demanding on it, exactly what you need, a flexible WordPress might be the way to go. So that's all for comparison of the Wix versus WordPress. Which of the two website builders have you found to be more efficient? Well, let me know in the comments down below. And make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.